if I could wave a magic wand and say, this is how companies need to use unlimited PTO, it would mm -hmm. be you've hired professionals who have, who are highly skilled and have a professional mindset. Set the measurements mm -hmm. of what needs to be accomplished, create the boundaries around um, what they can't do, um, and then give them the freedom to do everything else. Right. You know, and I think this is a great time for us to bring up something that we talk about a lot in our training programs and in some of our coaching and consulting work is kind of like the, a big part of this is we talk about, maybe they're thinking about uh, PTO backwards is, is that sometimes, and what you're talking about is kind of the philosophy of how to create rules and structure in your workplace. And something we talk about in like our autonomy freeway program and things like that is things around the difference between rules that restrict and rules that empower. Right. So rules that restrict tell you what you can do. It limits, which sounds you know like a, like a supportive thing, but it's actually about limiting the options that you have, and it puts restrictions on your actions and your judgments. You can only do these things. Success can can only happen if it looks like this. And whereas rules that empower tell you what you can't do, kind of like what you just said, it, it eliminates certain options because like you can't, you know, let clients drop and you can't miss deadlines. But as long as you do all the things that, you know, like as long as you're not doing the things you can't do, everything else is on the table. Use your professional judgment, do what you, know, you be you, you know, make, make it happen. And the idea of, I think that if we had to really kind of put a summary on what is the is the point and the best use of PTO is to say that if you're using PTO as a rule that restricts and you're, and you're putting the focus on limiting people's how people use their time off, then again, you're, you, it's a rule that restricts and, and you're and you're limiting what they can do. But if you focus on rules and empower and PTO is kind of the, the side effect of what happens when someone is focused on the results and getting the work done, then you're creating those rules that empower. And that's probably the fundamental philosophy that people really need to shift their mind to if they really want to get the best use out of a tool like unlimited PTO. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, I want to follow up on the rules that empower because we actually use rules that empower most frequently the higher up in the food chain you go in an organization. Right. right? Organizational governance usually is framed from uh, executive limitations. It, it's, mm -hmm. it's a very common, very well-used uh, framework for how an organization governs, especially if they have a board of uh, directors. Um, you know, the board will set out the executive limitations that says the CEO can do, as long as the CEO does not do this, this and this, they have the freedom to use their professional judgment. All we're saying is that the highly successful, very effective model of providing rules that empower to your CEO can be applied throughout your organization. It, we we lose things in as we um, like we use this very effectively in one respect, and then we as we I I hate the the illustration that I'm using right now because I'm as we go down the ladder or as we go down the authority levels, mm -hmm. um, we become more and more restrictive, saying that it's not. You know, it's not here's the box and uh, you you can do anything you want as long as you're not going outside of that framework. We start pinpointing very specifically saying this is what you're allowed to do. This is not what you're allowed to do or this is the only way to be successful. Um, and I think we we need to provide some examples of rules that restrict uh, because talking about it in an abstract sense, I, I don't know would be as effective as an actual example. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, but like going back to like, to, to the whole idea of, of, of PTO is like, you know, you, you can have PTO or you have un unlimited paid time off, but it can't be, you know, but it can't be any more than this. And it can't be during, you know, when everyone else during peak vacation period, and it can't be during this, can't be during that. That's putting the restrictions that say, you know, this is you can you can you the only way you can use PTO is like the only PTO is like this. That is a rule that restricts. 
Whereas, as we said before, rule that empower is, okay, so as long as you're putting the box around, as long as clients are not being dropped, deadlines are being met, um, you know, budgets are being maintained, then when and where you work and how often you work is up to you.